so guys welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to continue with our rest api uh, series with express so let's get started in this tutorial what we're going to do mostly is to set up our database then the next row we can begin to actually code so in this row we'll set up our database using mongodb atlas and then uh, we'll also set up the database schemas and then the next row we'll begin to write the functionality to do with the crud and then uh, that's that will be the end for this uh, series so let me just go back to my uh, my web page here so i'm going to go to this website called uh, atlas uh, atlas so it says uh, atlas if you don't have i'm going to leave this link in the description so you can find but you can just search mongodb atlas on uh, on google then you can be able to get that uh, uh, that that um, that link to this page and then you can be able to create an account i already have an account so i'm just going to authenticate myself using google and then i'll be able to i'll be logged in into my account so if we get logged in we'll create a we'll create a new database and i'll show you how to do all that after creating a new database we'll then begin to install the necessary libraries that we need to uh to access to be able to use mongodb atlas so you can just go to uh http uh, colon for slash two for slash cloud.mongodb.com and then you can be able to uh, register your account there so if you guys cannot find this let me know i will leave the link in the description below so if you sign up in initially your web, your page or your home page will look like this so if you have signed up and logged in your home page is going to look like this so you can just go ahead and go ahead and, and create a database so you can just go ahead and click this create database and this will bring you to this page where you can select which database you want to create i want a free database so i'm going to select free and i'm going to press create so this is going to bring us to a page where you can select the, the country and this other stuff so i'm going to just leave it as uh, amazon uh, aws so i'm just going to go ahead and really click uh, click on create create database so i'm going to click uh, sorry create cl uh, create cluster so i'm going to click on that and that's going to take some time to create that so while that's uh, all well, that's doing it let's go back to our terminal and we need to install a couple of things so we need to install a couple of things the first one we need to install we need to install uh the we need to install mongoose so mongoose is the npm library that you can use to access our our database so i'm just going to to access our database to create our schemas and to create basic uh cloud functionality and all the functionality related to database mongodb database we're going to use mongoose for that so let's go to npm install and then you can just go uh, mongoose just like that and you can press enter this is going to install mongoose in your database so um before i do that let me just close this make sure i'm in my right directory yeah i mean so i'm going to go npm install mongoose so mongoose this is mongoose and then you can just press enter this is going to go ahead and actually install mongoose for you and once that's done we also install one library called dot env because i don't want to keep my database information within my code so i want to separate it from my code in case i push it to github uh, it doesn't get pushed up to github by mistake see that's just for security purposes so once that uh, mongoose is installing uh, let's go back and check if our database is already set up uh, is still setting up so we just have to wait for this to set up it will take some time for uh, for the database to be set up so let's uh, uh, come back here see mongoose is uh, installing once that's done installing we also install another library called env and then we'll begin to create our database schemas okay so once that's done you can clear the terminal and go npm install uh, this is dot env so if you ever watch my python videos i use dot env there a lot so it's a very similar library in, in uh, javascript also so it helps you to like uh to keep your secret information uh in a, in a file that you don't push to github and still your code still works so that's basically what dot uh, dot env is for so it will keep our database connection uh, information there and then uh we'll not push it that to github whenever you make a push uh push uh, command okay so now our database is created here what you can simply do is just click, you can go to connect so if you go to click if you click on connect here you can go to this connect with mongodb shell no that's not what we want connect your application that's what you want and there's the last one connect with the mongodb compass and mongodb compass is just like my, my workbench for mysql uh, mysql databases so just going to click that you're going to select node make sure you select node ts um and then you select the version you can just put 3.6 or above and uh and then, and then you can select this so this is a connection configuration but for now just leave that for now so we'll just leave that there for now we'll come back to this later and also one thing that you need to do is that you need to go to database access and then you need you have your you, the, the, the user that you use to register your database with will appear here so you can go ahead and actually edit the password you can click on edit and then you can edit the password information of that specific user so it, uh, it's very important because you're going to use the password to access this database so make sure that you are uh, you know the password for this user okay great 
so let's go back to uh, VS Code and then let's see what's going on here. So we have already installed those libraries and then if you check your package, uh, if you go to package.json, you can see those packages are already here. So you have .env, you have mongoose and uh, uh, all the packages that have just installed. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and actually go and create a, uh, uh, a .env in our root directory. So within our, uh, in our root directory, we just create a file here, call it .env and then just like that that's all we need to do and then in here to what we need to do is that we need to now um, create a uh, create information to access to put our, our, our database information here so just go back to mongoose uh, sorry the uh, atlas and then uh, you can just go uh, just go to databases and then click on connection connection and then go to uh, connect your application and then just copy this code from here you can just copy that code and then you can just copy it this way then you can close this up and then you can go back to your vs code and then paste that information here so now what you want to do sorry before you paste it you can just say uh, db underscore connection uh, db connection i think is you use the equal sign and then you paste it right there so now we have that what you need to do you need to change your password the password that you have configured with the specific user remember i told you that you, got, you can go to database access and then you can be able to edit the password for this specific user my name my name is prince so you can be able to this uh edit the, the, the password for that user and that password that you get is a password that you use here uh, in this place of uh, password so so i'm just going to change this i'm going to write i'm thinking it's called uh i change it to code with code with prince and then one two three four i believe it's like that but if it's not then i'll change it and uh, i'll let you guys know but that's uh but you cannot use it to access my database because i'm going to change this afterwards so it won't work for you so make sure that you use your own uh, database configuration so it says code with prince one two three four that's my database information so now that we have this setup we can go now to our to our app.js in our app.js we can set the configuration to our database okay so what we need to do we need to first import uh, we need to import something so we're just going to app.js and what we need to do we need to say that um we need to say require we need to require something so require and then it's going to be uh dot env for slash config just like that uh we need to imp we need to include that and then you also need to include the uh, mongodb connection so you can go here uh const this uh actually has const 1c const mongoose equals to then you are going to require something and you're going to require mongoose just like that so great so now you have that setup you can go down here and set up our database so we just go here uh mongoose mongoose uh db connection okay you can just call it anything you want what you're going to do here is going to say mongoose uh mongoose dot connect so you're going to connect here and what you're going to do here you're going to pass in uh, you're going to say process uh dot env dot uh db connection so it's going to db underscore connection db connection just like that and then you're going to pass in an arrow function and then this arrow function is just going to be uh we're going to say uh, we're going to log something with the console so console.log and then you're saying connection uh connect to the database establish and then from there have access to our database so what is we going to do i'm just going to say connection connection uh let's say let me just use capital c yes so let's say connection uh to db but then you say establish okay so you can just say anything that you want to tell that it, it, uh, that the connection has been established with the database and that's all so this is going to now set up our configuration to our database so now let's run our application to see if we are getting that configuration uh that's set up so going to be npm uh this will be run there okay and then you can just run that and then you just wait for the connection to get established so what is going to we're going to get two things on our console we're going to get this one uh, connection established and then we're going to get a uh, server running on localhost at port uh, 8000 so let's just see what happens so let me just go back to the terminal node node uh, node one has already started the server and now uh, you're going to connect to our database and you see the connection to database established so that's how it's easy to connect to a database in uh, mongodb uh, using uh, sorry connect to mongodb database in express so now that we have that set up we can go ahead and actually create i'm going to create the schema for our database and for the schema for the database you're going to store it in models remember, remember we are using the mvc structure so in your models so we're going to create a structure so just create a, a folder call it movies dot js and in movie dot js that's where we're going to create our database schema and this is just a definition for our database so uh just like in uh 
uh, mysql where we write a database this is where we're going to write our configuration for our database so this is going to be a database to store movie information so this is how the database is going to be first of all we need to import something so it's a const uh mongoose uh, sorry mongoose let me see table oh mongoose equals to uh, require so this is require and in require what you're going to pass in you're going to pass in mongoose you're going to import that mongoose there great so now that we have that imported we can go ahead and actually begin to write the uh the, the schema for our database so to write the schema is very simple what you have to do is a const and then give the name to a schema so let's call it movie and you're going to say this is going to be a new this is going to be a new and then it's going to be mongoose mongoose uh, mongoose dot uh, schema this way and goes to schema and then there we pass in an object so the object that we pass in here so it's just a function and if instead of that function we pass in an object so we're going to pass in a dictionary if we're going to pass the name and guess the name is of type string just like this and that will also work and we can just go ahead and then go ahead and release date these are the fields that these are the data that i'm going to store release date can, can be of type date just like that but uh, i want this to be more descriptive so i'm going to delete this and i'll show you how to do it in a more descriptive way so that the way that i've showed you also work if you want to do it that way but i'm going to show you how to do it in a better way so the better way is just say you pass in an object so name uh refers to an object and that object has uh, this uh this field has so the fields for a string and it has uh required we're going to say required is going to be true so required is going to be of type true uh true okay just like that so now we have name and name is it's going to be of type string and it's going to be required just that that's that's, that's the way it is and we're going to have the re release release underscore date and this is going to be you're going to uh it's going to refer to an object this object is going to have a, a type of uh date so this is going to be have a type of date and then it's going to be required it's going to be true it's going to be required so required required is going to be true and then you're going to have the default so default and default is going to be of type uh date uh date this is going to be date dot uh now just like this date dot now so now that you have that you can also go to another field so make sure you keep the command then you have director so this is going to be a movie a movie database so it's going to be stored the when this is going to be the movie's information so type the type is going to be string so the, the director is going to be a name of a director and this is going to be of type string and also going to be required and required is going to be true okay so now that we have that we can also have another field called cast and then the cast is going to have the following so i'm just going to uh, delete this and i'm going to copy this it's going to be the same as this so you can just copy this uh copy all of this and then just paste it here so you can just paste it here uh then change this to cast and then you can pass in that cast information you can have default to be null if you want so you can just say string required is true and you can have a uh, default you can have default to be null if you want okay so default can be null if you want so make sure you keep the semicolon right there uh, okay now that you have that you can also have a watch watch from so you can just copy this and then replace it here paste it here and then uh, this will be uh watch underscore from and this this watch from is going to be a type of string and the default can be null and the required is true so there's a place where you can watch it from like amazon on netflix on amazon uh, stuff and other stuff like that that's where you can watch it from i'm not really a movie guy but yeah that's uh, the details about where you can watch it from now that we have this we can go ahead and actually export this so we can do module dot uh exports and then the export is going to be mongoose dot uh module and then we're going to pass in the module the name of the module is going to be movies movie and then i'm going to now okay, call it movies or movie if you want and then we can call let's call it this movies and then the name of that database is going to be uh movies and then we can also change this let's just also let's just call it movies rather than movies so that's a proper naming convention so movies and then that's all we need uh, for that to work so just movies uh, movie right here so let me just check yeah i got the spelling right so that's all we need to write for our schema so now our schema is already done so in the next to what you're going to do is to import our schema into our our, 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 our route module and from our route module we can be, be to write the CRUD functionality for our database uh, which should be this part of here so let me just show you this is our, our routes so here you're going to import our database between in, in here rather in here and then you're going to write the functionality for uh, uh for credit functionality and then will be added to our routes and then uh, our application can use it from apps and then that's the uh, that's be the end of the tutorial so guys thanks for watching that's how you set up a mongodb uh database for 
express uh, CRUD API. So in the next row, begin to write the CRUD functionality and that will mark the end of this tutorial. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial so far, give you a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Keep safe.